welcome back to the Smite Pro League. Season 7 is underway. We've already seen one set today. The second set of the day, Radiance up against Pittsburgh Knights. The new super team versus the world champions, the defending ones. And I'm looking at the composition that Radiance have drafted here. Both teams do have a little bit of a lackluster engage, I want to say, outside of maybe a blink from Scary D here or there. It's really relying on a lot of things, but there's two on turn mid, he's going to fall down, Scary D and Zap both get stunned in place, Scary D pulled to the back line by adapting, has to ult away, Scary going to get chased out by Cyclone Spin, one more auto will do it, he's trapped in the pit, the bowler will get it, meanwhile Benji chasing towards Paul, who's going to fall down momentarily to Benji, but Paul will at least get hold of a raw. Big Man Tings does get hold of Neil Mar 2 and Neil on the right hand side. Juvo Fred's on the run. Blinks over the wall but adapts and sniffed that out and jumps over with Suku. Juvo will escape for now. Radiance meanwhile heading straight towards the FG for members strong. It, I don't think it ever spotted exactly mm. where Aurora was. They thought they had that entrance warded, but they really didn't. And Aurora just found a perfect initiation. If, Sa if Zap is just holding that left side a little bit harder, he's just pushed up against that left side wall. That initiation, that fight probably goes fine Okay. PK, but he was just too far to the right. Gonna have a bit of a base race scenario going on. Last time PK did this, at least four of them. They nearly won a Wilms off the back of it, but I don't know about this one, boys. This is gonna be up against the Jibalonke. The base race on day one. Are you kidding me? No Phoenix way. to the left goes down. In we go. The biggest game of the year. All the run all to the pop down. Who's gonna win it? Who's gonna come up with a victory? It's gonna be Radiance. Radiance, Radiance got it. I have to wait a second. HP, less than 600 Woo. HP on the enemy Titan. Not even close. Radiance had it. Here's a lesson for you guys at home. You don't base race the Merlin. On he, day he, out, he out DPSs you every time. Huge damage coming from Big Man Tings. What an ending. When was the last time we saw a true base race? Five ne on five. Never. Five I, five. I don't think I've ever seen it, and it was never been that close before. I want to say, <laughs> That's just looking at the number of that Titan, it was probably about two, three hundred health tops left on that. But like said, ninety. When you look at that base race, though, Ryan, like, is one team, you know, going into that? You're both making the call to go for it, so you're, you're tossing a coin there at that point, right? You're just yes. gambling on the situation, which is madness to me. Yeah, I mean, it's it, and they were both right. I mean, I don't think that you can really fault PK for trying to go for it. They were two autos away from ending the game in that amount of time. Paul didn't have relics. He's in a real dangerous spot if they try and defend on that Phoenix Siege. I, I really can't fault PK at all for, for going for it in that instance. I think it's, a, it's an acceptable end call for them. It just happens to go the other way. And Big Man Tings has probably never been happier in his entire life to be playing Merlin because that is exactly where Merlin is absolutely nuts. One target standing perfectly still, just do all the damage you can. He's going to do more than anybody else. I mean, if you think back to it, they did have the Fire Giant buff to do there. So maybe yep. that was the difference maker. FG versus no FG. It I was. had to make sure my fingers were on screen there. FG versus no <laughs> FG. That's the way it's going to be. That's it for game one, though. We got potentially two more games to go. Will we get another base race? We'll find out after this short break.